What's up guys, DBK videos. I make military content, put it on the internet for you to enjoy. If you want my social media links will be in the description down below. If you're not following me on Instagram and you're not subscribed to this channel, you're wrong. Also, if you click this because of the title, this is literally your best stop for this sort of information because I am a corpsman in the Navy and I have been stationed at Navy boot camp. From 2015 to 2017, you actually had a good chance of getting me as your corpsman. And I remember back then I could filter through my comments and be like, are you the guy that gave me the shot at Tranquility? Are you the guy that gave me a shot at Red Rover? And the answer is probably yeah, I probably am that guy. Today we're gonna be talking about sick call and boot camp, how you can go about getting seen. Now there's a lot of stigma around this, especially with Marines since I'm greenside now and I work with a lot of Marines, they say, oh, you know, I didn't, I didn't get seen for this in boot camp because I didn't want to be held back and I want to do all this stuff which yeah if there's like super minor things that are just gonna set you back sure I get waiting a little bit but some people <laughs> totally <laughs> how do I say this if you think it's serious enough to get seen get seen if you think it's something that you wouldn't pay a civilian doctor to see you for you can probably tough through it but I like to say always err on the side of caution and the medical is free just show up we can tell you right off the bat if it's something not serious and be like, hey man, uh, here's some Sepracol. If you guys don't know what that is, just medica medicated at lozenges. Here's some Sepracol, some ibuprofen. Um, yeah, you're good. See ya. Which often than not is a lot of the cases at boot camp. However, a lot of times you guys come in with like musculoskeletal injuries, actual bad like upper respiratory stuff. We've had like two TB cases, which was weird. And uh, yeah, I'm basically gonna tell you the process. So once you actually start getting into the boot camp, they're gonna assign roles. They're gonna assign like RPOC, um, AROC, Yeoman. There's like a medical and dental Yeoman. So you can go up to like the medical Yeoman or you can go wait by the fishbowl in the morning. A lot of RDCs like to structure their boot camp that way. And they'll have like a line for sick call, like who has to go to sick call that day. You'll check out the yeoman and you'll walk from, depending if you're in the beginning phases of boot camp, you're over by Red Rover, right? If you're in the later phases of boot camp, you're over by Tranquility, which is over by like the actual big PT hall. Once you get to boot camp, you'll know what I'm saying. Boot camp is like divided by a main street. Left side is processing, right side is actual boot camp. There's a bridge underneath that connects them because you'll be going back and forth. Regardless of what side you're on, you're gonna be walking in tranquility because that's where sick call is actually conducted. During sick call, you'll be brought in. They're gonna run some vitals on you. They're gonna ask for some symptoms. Depending what you're there for, they might take some labs, which is like blood work or swab your throat. If it's a musculoskeletal thing, the doctor or nurse, maybe corpsman, might run you through some like physical exercises, test your range of motion, your strength, mobility and it'll give them a good assessment of like what's wrong with them. A lot of common things in boot camp: pink eye, shin splints, viral upper respiratories that are gonna go away by their own, so you treat them symptomatically, which a lot of people get pissed about because everyone assumes you need antibiotics for everything when really you probably just need some ibuprofen and some water and you'll be fine. I know, I know, I know, that's a joke about Corman, ha <laughs> ha, Motrin water. Motrin water is, it, it helps a lot of things. <laughs> I know it's a joke, it's a joke, but honestly, just take it. The building is kind of like a multi-story thing. So when you first walk in, you're gonna see a front desk. They're gonna check you into your right. You're gonna see a huge line of chairs with like uh, hallways, right? And the hallways are like provider rooms where a corpsman is gonna run your vitals, go drop you in a room, take your SO, signs and objectives, and then turn that over to a doctor. At the very far right of the chairs is the pharmacy. If you go straight back, uh, you'll see the laboratory uh, and the x-ray. And then if you go to the left, you'll actually see the ACA, which is like acute care. So like if anyone isn't like just there for sick call, they're like genuinely injured, they need sutures, like you got someone like seizing, you take them to the ACA, they're like acute response. Like you think of them like an emergency team. Upstairs, you got physicals, which like all you spec op dudes and flyers will go to. You have preventive medicine, you have mental health and physical therapy. There's actually a decent like physical therapy lab upstairs, which some of the corpsmen would like PT at during lunch. I worked in prep med, which was like the upstairs of it. And majority of my day was either set, uh, spent reading tuberculosis shots or like counseling STI, STD patients, which in hindsight wasn't bad. It was actually like super, super fun to learn about that sort of like occupational specialty. I feel like Corman, unless you're an actual PMT, you don't get exposed to that. And that stuff is super useful on like advancement exams. But yeah, if they need some sort of like a uh, higher echelon of care, down the street is the VA hospital, which all the corpsmen technically belong to, because I didn't belong to fish, how do I say this? There's Tranquility, main side, Red Rover processing, there's Fisher Clinic, which is the A school at the base down there, and then there's the hospital. All the corpsmen fall under the hospital and we kind of rotate. Majority of my time was spent at Fisher Clinic with the A schoolers. However, I did spend like the first year of being stationed there at Tranquility, which is like main side sick call. 
But if you do need a higher echelon of care, they have a full operating ER room and uh, hospital down the street. A lot of your providers are actually gonna be civilian because it's owned by a VA. We're like half and half. The workspace is half corpsmen, half military doctors with half like civilian med techs, LVNs, nurses, and you know, civilian doctors. A lot of my friends are civilians there and they're super badass, super humble people. A lot of them used to be veterans because the VA likes to hire veterans. <clears throat> and if there's one thing you can take away from this video, it's totally confide in the corpsman and the medical specialist there. So like, we're not your drill instructors. We're not there to like yell at you or anything. No one really cares why you're there. We can tell you if you're there for something, you know, minuscule and you're wasting your own time. Be like, hey man, it's just a cough. You can go back to training. But we'll also take care of you, man. Like we're, we're about patient care, like customer service. If a corpsman is, is yelling at you, being a dick to you, that's not a space at all. You should actually tell your RDC, like, yeah, this corpsman was super out of line. Now I know you're recruiting, you're probably not gonna step up and say that, but uh, yeah, it's not the corpsman space to be run, uh, yelling their mouth at you. They should actually be the ones like babying you, taking care of you, making sure you're good to go. Because in a state in your life, in boot camp, you're probably too afraid to say anything and something seriously could be wrong with you. So at all times, you should be able to freely talk to a corpsman. Hope you guys liked this video. Gave you a little insight about what sick call is gonna be like in boot camp. You'll probably go there at least once. Everyone gets sick in boot camp from something. A lot of the uh, upper respiratory infections are viral, so you can kind of run them out, but good chance you're gonna get like pink eye or something. <laughs> Just being honest. I'll see you guys in the next one.